Hello guys, Robot1 here, and today I am doing some more DN duels for you guys. And today I am going to be using Burning Abyss, because soon they're getting reprinted in the Gold series, so... I thought, why not try out some Burning Abyss, see what they do. I've never actually played them before, because Burning Abyss isn't really a deck I would play. Even though I did play Telenize, technically. And it looks like we got a bad hand. Well, not really. I guess we can make a Dante, see what we can mill... But it's, it's not the best at this point. And we got a one for one. Hopefully it's not Infernoids. Oh, so it's the Blue Eyes deck. Okay, okay. Well, I've got the Twin Twisty for that, so that's fine. I've got a Libic, so I can special summon one from hand with no problem. Get the effect. He summons a Maiden. Okay. Sets two. Perfect for me. Okay. And he gets stone, which summons a blue eyes from deck, I believe. Yep. Oh, I love that original art, blue eyes. Original is always the best. And we draw a rhino warrior. That's great, actually. Um. Well, I want to deal with that back row first. So, activate this. To grave. Targeting the both of the back row. Is that is that fine, sir? Okay, we've got Vanities, and we got... Ooh, nice. Um, Libic, sir. Uh, I'll special summon a Barbar. Then I guess I'll normal summon the Fiendish Rhino Warrior. I should have probably summoned the Farfar, actually. Because now I can't really get over the Blue Eyes. Ah, oh, well, it doesn't matter. I can make Beatrice and get rid of it. Um, overlay these two. Uh, make Dante. I'll detach the Rhino. Milling three. Uh, so one. Another Rhino, great, that's just terrible. Oh, there's the Farfa, that's good. Three. Um, Rhino, Farfa. So now I'm going to send... I'll send a Graf to Grave, so then I can summon a Seer. Um, I, ah, the Far Far kind of hurts me now. Ugh. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. Actually, I'll send a, to I'll send a Skarm to Grave. Because then if I send the Skarm to Grave, I can search out a Tour Guide. Well, what's under this? It's a Barbar, isn't it? Mmm... I can't special summon that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll send a scum to grave. Yeah, to grave, because then I can get the tall guy to end phase, and then I'll just set the horn of heaven. Go to. I can make Beatrice. Because I am playing Beatrice in this build. Um, once per turn, during either player's turn, except during this turn, you can detach one of these material from this card, send one card from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is in your possession, is destroyed, you can... Okay. I don't think I'll make the Beatrice, because that wouldn't make any sense, so I'll just go to end phase. Use Skarm. So, Skarm Effect will allow me to search out a tour guide. So, let's get to the tour guide to my hand. Um, he gets his blue eyes back. Uh, blue eyes. So this guy gets his things back. <sighs> Okay. Also, he's tribute. Oh, he's synchro summoning. Good thing I have a horn. Okay. A horn of heaven. That. So to grave. Um, Dante. 
So Dante will add back a... I guess I could get the Libic back, but what will be the point in that? I'll go grab... I think I'll grab... Yeah, I'll bring the Libic back to hand. Because then I can special summon another card from hand next turn. Question is, what does he have in the last card, two cards in hand? I, he reveals a blue eyes. Okay. Does it mean... Oh, he summons the alternative, which is... Ah, uh, this card's name becomes blue eyes. Well, this card's on the field. Once per turn. Yeah, you can target one monster you're opponent controls. Destroy that card. This card can attack the turn. Okay. So basically, this is just a destroying monster with 3k. So I'm going to be taking 3k this turn, regardless. So 3,000. Big damage. Uh, so my turn. Ooh, drew the breakthrough. Is it during either player's turn? Uh, while this face-up card is on the field or in the graveyard. What's the turn? Okay, so it's not during your place turn, so I should be fine. So I will normal summon the tour guide. Effect. So view. Special summon. I'll special summon the graph. Because then I can get that out of the deck. Start using it. Uh, overlay these two. Summon another Dante, I'd think. Um, I could make Acid Golem. I'm gonna get the graph. Um, I'll summon the. Ooh. Yeah, I think. I. Th I'll make the Dante first, because then I can get more damage in. So detach the graph. Uh, three. So one, two, three. Wow, those were terrible mills. Those were terrible mills. Mills. Uh, I'll have to use. Gra I'll use graph effects there. But seriously, that was a terrible mill. Um, I'll summon out the seer. Uh, I'll special summon the libic. Overlay the Libic with the Seer. Summoning out Acid Golem. Go to Battle Phase. I'll just crash with the Acid Golem. Is it Grave? I'll use Seer Effect. Summoning back the... Mm, I could summon back the Graph, or I could summon back another Dante. Either way, it's more damage. I'll summon back the Dante, and I'll poke for 25 and 1,000. So this guy's in a really bad situation now. So I'll just set this. Um, I think... Yeah... I oh these are meant to go to defense it's mandatory so to defense to defense they're meant to go to defense um I'll send this to grave and summon Beatrice over over this Dante because it's got no materials on it and then I will pass turn. So now I've got, I believe, if I don't have another Farfar in Grave, I've got Farfar live in deck, yeah. So I've got the Farfar live in my deck. How, oh, okay. Um, so reveals the blue eyes. Uh, activates the, summons the alternative. Yeah, he just, well, he scooped. <laughs> um, so yeah, looks like that's what he did. And I was about to draw vanities, okay. So yeah, that was the first game, I guess. Um, one second guys, just got to close my door, because, mum, uh, there we go, okay, so let's have another game, see if we can get another one, and um, this is actually my first time ever playing Burning Abyss guys, 
So go don't go a little easy on me if I'm not making the best plays because uh, this is technically my first time playing the deck. Okay, so we got this guy. Let's duel him. Looks quite new. Not bad rating. And he won the roll. He won the uh, hand rock paper scissors. And I get to go first. That's what I want to do. Let's see how broke I open. Hopefully it's not just five trap cards and then I get Denkoed. Okay, we got a Seer. We got Rhino Warrior. Nice. Okay. So we're going to normal the Rhino Warrior. Special summon the Seer. Overlay the two. Um, summoning the Dante. Detaching the Rhino for free. So one... Bad mill, two. Another bad mill, three. All these bad mills. Well, the breakthrough's not bad. Um, Rhino. I'll mill the Graph to summon a Seer from deck. Actually, I've got a Seer on the Dante. I think I'll summon a Skarm instead. That way I can have a butt. And I would really like to keep the Seer in deck because then I have another Seer for when Graph is there. How I know how to play these decks in somewhat manner, but just don't play, just don't have ever played them is I mainly learned how to play these decks from watching from dueling them myself, so it's very easy to learn them. So I'll use Graf to summon a Scarm in defense, and then I'll just set free. So set free, pass turn. And then on the standby phase, I'll activate the anti spell. Does he have the twin twister to outlet? Find out next time on the on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Seriously, though, what's this guy gonna do? Cause we ain't, we got no knowledge of his. He scooped. Okay. Okay. Well, seeing as he scoops because of my board. <laughs> I guess we'll have one more game, guys. See what we can get. See if we can't get anything really good from this. Because that Blue Eyes door was okay, but the guy kind of quit out on us. Let's go with this guy, because he was the first one to join. Um, oh, we got some Bandit Key Faction up in here. That low rating, though. Let's see if... Because sometimes there's um, these really good players and low rated, but we never, you never actually get to see them. So that's why I like to choose the low rated players. Because then you get to actually see what some low-rated players on DN can do. So let's see what we got here. Oh, Monarchs. <laughs> okay. Oh, this ain't... Mm, I don't like this. Okay. Well, I've got a good hand for Monarchs, I guess. So I'll just set four and set the Fafa. There's not really much else I can do. So set the Fafa and, and turn. This guy's probably thinking, oh, this guy's playing Yang Zings. No. Oh, what? Why is Monarch... Okay. Monarchs don't usually set so much. Another back record? What the hell? Maybe I am just playing some really bad player. <laughs> we'll find out when this guy decides to make a play where I can see his cards. Uh... Got a pretty solid back row. What? This guy's got too much back row. Another set. What am I up against? Another Horn of Heaven. Pass turn. Guys, this is going to be some slow game. <laughs> Wonder. It's like, what am I up against? Oh, MST. Okay. And he hit the strike. Ah. Oh, we still got Walling and Horn. It's fine. It's fine. What? But still, what the hell am I up against? Crush card. Oh no. Um. This guy just made the worst play of his existence, and he's such a bad player. Um. So I got reveal this. Reveal this. So now I get to destroy cards from my deck. Sick.
Uh, let's destroy a steer, because then I can just... Oh, that's actually peak. The far, far set. I don't know how that would work, actually. I think you, I just have to reveal it and stay set. Oh, that's actually peak, because now I, I, have to, I can send the seer, but the graph's going to die, and the graph's going to get... Oh. Damn it. Wait, no, destroying the seer is a bad idea. I can't get its effect. Oh, well. I got the seer engraved for when I want it, so it's fine. Wait, it's what this is target any number of burning beast monsters in your graveyard that was sent there this turn. Oh, why is the far far got to be set? Oh, we got Rhino Warrior, that's good. Okay, so normal summon the fla normal summon the flip normal summon the Rhino Warrior. Flip the far far. Overlay. Um summon the Dante. Detach the Rhino for free. But it looks like I'm playing some really underrated player. Oh, we got the graph. It's a bad mill. Um, so Rhino and graph. Okay. So I'm gonna use graph to summon. I'll use graph to summon Scarm. Rhino to send Seer to grave. Oh, but then I'm out of Sears. Ah, it doesn't matter. I can get it back. Um, Sear. Okay. I'm probably doing so bad with this deck. But whatever. So summon this over that. Uh, detach the Scum for free. Pray to God I don't mill the tour guide. Breakthrough, nice. Twin Sister, no. It's burning lip. Oh, these terrible mills. Um, okay, let's just go for the battle phase. Attack. Mirror Force, what? What existence does Mirror Force get played? Oh, boy. Um, Dante... Far, far. Okay, so I'm going to use Dante to add back... Um, I'll use it to add back a Fire Lake. And I suppose... Uh, and I suppose... A uh, Scum? Yeah. No, I'll add back the Traveler, because I'm going to be like, go main phase 2, activate Traveler. Main phase 2, activate the Traveler. So I can special summon the Farfa, the Dante, the Dante, the Graph, and the Seer. Okay. So that's not bad. Um, but still... What just happened? <laughs> oh well, um, let's overlay these two. Summon out the third Dante. Detaching the far far for free. So one, two, three. Oh wow, what's with these bad mills? Um, now, I could make downer, but then I'll lose the seer, so I don't think I will. So I'll just set the these two, then I'll pass turn. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, okay, so I'm guessing he normals that. Um, what are you doing? What does he think he's up to? Oh. It comes back set. So the set card was a... So it comes back as a card trooper. Okay. Uh, so on end phase of Fire Lake. So to grave, to grave, targeting all three back row. 
Come on, let's see. Scrap our hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing an underrated player. Come on. Those two. Get him out of here. Oh, wow, two? <laughs> What's the final card? Okay. Uh, Dante's. So this time... Oh, I forgot to add the Skarm last turn. Damn. Oh, well. I'll add the Rubik and the Seer. So to Grave. Next turn. Um... Oh, uh, what do I want to do here? Guess this for free. One, two, three. Double far far. Um, far far. <laughs> I'll banish this because I know this is a card trooper. Let's see what we're gonna hit with this. Come on. Oh, I'm dueling some underrated player. Um. So, graph. Let's see what we can actually do. Because it seems that maybe I could OTK. Possibly. Um, I think I'm going to special. Hmm, I'll special out a Barbar. I'll normal summon the Lebek and make Virgil. So, this. To Grave. To grave summoning out Virgil. I'll use bar I'll use Barbar's effect. Banishing a far far I guess a Rubik and Yeah he just admitted defeat. So guys, we just dueled an underrated player. I think that's enough for now. And please tell me if you liked this video. It game what the first game was the more entertaining one, I think. But the other one guy just scooped completely, and then this underrated player came along. He did try though, and I gotta give him that. But yeah, and where did that mirror force come from, guys? But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye. Thank you.